morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a beautiful day in London. I am joined by Nez from Zimba Motoring. Hello, What's super up? cool. How's it going my friend? Good. Good to see you, you're right? Yeah, good to see you too. So you may have seen Nez a couple of times because you work at Romans International and we pop down there every now and again, but I actually went to university with you. So I've yes. known Nez for about five years. <laughs> and to do this full circle of university, drinking a lot, playing tennis to now doing YouTube together. Exactly, this it, is awesome. This it's is pretty cool. Incredible. It's pretty cool. And we've got a beautiful day. My C63 behind and you love the suspension. Yes. It is pretty cool to look at, but we've only done a two minute drive here to Battersea Park because basically what I want to do is ask you your expertise and your knowledge because your YouTube channel, your recent videos have come down to the modified daily driver scene, right? Exactly. So RS3s, A45s. M140s M and all that stuff, yeah. Really, really cool video. So I'm gonna leave Nez's channel link in the description below, but I wanted to bring you on board because I feel like you're the expert for this sort of thing. I'm a complete noob and have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. Motec did a great job and I drove home. However, what these guys saw online was my first drive, which was five to 10 minutes on a dual carriageway. Mm. It was gonna be a fairly smooth ride. I tested Sport Plus, Sport and Comfort, but London, I feel like I've got more unforgiving roads. <laughs> yes. Speed bumps <laughs> with restrictions, now with spaces on the car. Oh, it's gonna be There's fun. more, <laughs> yeah, for you maybe, not for me. <laughs> but I wanted to put it to the real test to see whether I've ruined the car or whether it is still as usable as a daily driver should be. So should we just get the GoPro hooked up and go? Let's jump in it. Yeah, let's do let's it. Let's do it. Here we go. Now we start in Battersea Park because these speed bumps replicate the speed bumps that I've got in my new apartment. Uh -huh. On the driver of the new apartment. Yeah. So <laughs> this is kind of now what I have to deal with on a daily basis. Right. The suspension on a stock C63 is fairly it's, stiff as yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But these aren't positioned that well for my wheelbase because both wheels <laughs> hit them at a really <laughs> weird, angle. weird angle and a really weird time. So yeah, Battersea Park, these are essentially the same speed bumps that I've got in my apartment. So proof that it can manage them. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit. Yeah. You just have to slow down a bit. bit. Exactly, and it's a little bit firm as well. Now, Battersea Park is also home to a width restriction, which I am also quite familiar with, and speed bumps on a public road that, again, I'm fairly familiar with. This is because when we did the hot hatch tour, and Mr. JWW stitched me up and put me in a Ferrari 599, <laughs> these okay. are the speed bumps which I kept scraping the front bumper on. Oh, heart was in the mouth there on that turn. I genuinely ooh, thought that I was gonna curb a wheel. I've got to be really soft with this. What's it scraping? Let's test out whether the C63 does it. First impressions? Honestly, I can't tell the difference between this and a normal one. It's apart from the aesthetics. Exactly. And it that looks is, a lot, yeah, lot lower. That's the one thing that I really wanted to do when I was lowering the car and Motec suggested that I could still keep the ride quality. Yeah. It all came down to making sure that it was still usable and still dailyable without having such a firm ride that it just became uncomfortable for everyone in the car. Yeah. The width restriction to me gives me a good idea of whether the spaces are gonna completely wreck my alloys when I come <laughs> close to curbs. Are they down I'm, on cut as well? Yeah. Oh, might be but I, I'm confident, I'm confident that uh, we can do this. We can do it. Good I pass. might get you to film on my camera because if you just hold it down like this, we can see how, <laughs> see we how, can see how close we're right. getting. So okay. um, let's get that set up so that the guys can see what we're dealing with and the risks that I'm willing to take <laughs> I'm to risk. make sure that this is <laughs> this is the right modification for me. <laughs> Look at that. So these speed bumps, oh god, oh dear, are big. But I feel like the track of my car. I know that. Yeah. I was, yeah. I was thinking that the track being a little wider with the spaces, you clear them out. Would, would, clear them either side but it's it's not the case but I'm not having to slow down like this yeah. is where I am now because I'm scared it's not that bad yeah, is it it's normal yeah 
This is a good start to the day. Very, very good start. Well, I don't want to straddle them because then I will be, that's like at least 10 inches that I'd be going up, no. which is not a good idea. But, yeah, this is like game changing in my mind of the way that suspension works. Yeah. Because I had such a bad experience with my R8 and the tires kept scraping the wheel arches, it just like, it frustrated me so much that I didn't want to drive the car. Mm. Whereas this, now I can take it into London, I feel like I could probably take it to most city centres like Paris or wherever, yeah, 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 yeah. and be able to overcome most obstacles. <laughs> How the car is now. <laughs> because next week, We've lowered the car. Yeah. So, like for me, that kind of builds the foundations of where we can go with this thing. We can add some aftermarket wheels to it. We can make it look even more aggressive with an aero kit. And that is exactly what's happening. Oh yes, yeah. tell me more, Paul. Carbon fiber, <laughs> DMC. Oh yes. Parts are being shipped right now to Dub Customs. Oh. So it's a carbon fiber front splitter, carbon fiber extended ducktail, carbon fiber rear diffuser, all going onto the car. Jeez. Now, it is going to look incredible. That's going to, it's going to look mean. But I do believe that now that we've dropped the car, we've dropped the car 10 millimeters or 15 millimeters. I can't remember what Motec said, which is really bad because it wasn't that long ago that I actually got the car lowered. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty tired on the day and I was concentrating on my filming. <laughs> but I can imagine carbon fiber front split is what? That's like an extra 20 mil, right? Mm. So overall, the whole thing's going to be dropped by 35, <laughs> max 30. Yeah. So you have to be quite careful, I guess. Yeah, I'm being quite careful now. I've got a trail of five cars behind me. <laughs> Just being like, what are you doing? You know, on Top Gear, they take the mickey out of caravanners. Yeah. How they are, you know, with traffic behind. I think you've become one of those, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Looks yeah. like a caravan in this, in this white paint. <laughs> The new lowered suspension. <laughs> and how does this compare to, let's say, a lowered A45 or a lowered RS3? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this feels a lot more comfortable. The A45 is a lot, feels stiffer. Yeah. Whether that's because of the, it's a shorter um, chassis wheelbase. and a wheelbase. Uh, but this definitely feels, I love the seats as well, by the way. Yeah. Really supportive. Everyone suggests that the bucket seats are the ones to have, but for the type of driving that I do in this thing, yeah. unless I was going to take it on a track, like I probably will want the comp uh, the sporty seats or the performance seats when I um, take it to like the Alps or somewhere like that. Because yeah. you just want to be just hugged in, cocooned in yeah. a little bit more. But for what we're doing, um, this is just ideal. Oh comfortable, I've got my heated seats on, loving yeah. life. Well, I literally just thought that I could have been wrong, but that could have been. That's great. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's not as bad as the 599, but, but it's, <laughs> it's, it is touching something, I think. Oh. <laughs> it's such a fine, I almost think that it's not even a millimetre yeah. that's scraping, but it's scraping. It's a tiny bit, isn't it? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not like, it's, it's not, not bad. It's not no. bad at all. No, at all. And driving home yesterday, I didn't scrape on any of the um, speed bumps that I've got at my house. Yeah. But it scrapes. <laughs> oh no, with the bloody DMC stuff now. I'm gonna have to take that like really carefully. I didn't think the Ferrari 599 is a particularly low car and you can probably correct me with that, right? They're not that no, low. because no, the GT car is supposed yeah. to be, yeah. But it proper scraped on that, but it did. This massively passed that test much better than the, uh, 599. Than the 599 did. But as a cruiser driving around like, it's such a nice, almost feels like you're driving on a cloud. So yeah, I feel like this has been a fairly successful outing. I think we've had a pretty lucky day when it comes to the weather. I like coming into London when it's like this. Yeah, it's if the it's best. raining, it's depressing. It's everyone's yeah. in a rush. Yeah. And right now you get to see everyone's on a run, everyone's chilling out, no one's in a rush. This guy's on his phone, he's got his head up. 
experience in the world. <laughs> when it's raining in London, everyone's got their head down looking yeah, at their feet and no depressing. one gives a shit. Yeah, it's depressing. Um, Such an ass day. Especially you. This is a powder roof that opens up, right? It is. Yes, I've you never can done that it. before. Oh, first, let's do it. This is yes. like, this is literally like as good as a convertible. Yeah. <laughs> We've got AMG V8, Sunshine. Oh, and a uh, little open stretch. <laughs> Still wants to break traction. <laughs> Great one. Yes. <laughs> and now we've got all that crisp air. I know. I've never done that before, you never. know? No. I mean, I think it's safe to say that this has been a successful run. We've Good also day. talked a little bit about the nature of what I plan to do with this car. Yep. Which is videos coming soon. I'm going to be at Dub Customs this week as this video goes live, uh, getting it and getting the kit installed onto the car. And then it's going to be assessing how quickly I want to start looking for aftermarket wheels. Because okay. if you put like this aero kit on, all carbon fiber, and you make the car look really mean and it's lowered, but it's still on stock wheels, mm. I'm a little bit uncertain as to think whether that's actually going to need change, whether yeah. it's going to need changing or not. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's probably best to wait and see how it looks. It might look lovely. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know. Yeah, and it saves me a bit of money. Exactly. <laughs> Best of both worlds. But then it's the exhaust system time, so then, yeah. then things will really kick off because it's going to be power upgrades, oh. exhaust systems, and then it's going to be colour change. Can I please come back when this car is like yeah. completely Finished, yeah. different? Yeah, and then you can do like a proper review on it, like what you've done on the RS3s, the yeah, 140Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the, all of those cars, because I feel like it will be a perfect fit for your channel. Yeah. So let's do that. Could this be the ultimate daily? Maybe, maybe that's your YouTube. Maybe it's your YouTube, YouTube channel. Title. Hmm. Make sure you uh, subscribe, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Head over into the link description below because we're going to do a video on your channel, which is essentially going to be talking about our journey from how we've both been at university to then doing this full circle and then coming back together for today in an AMG. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> right, crazy. Let's try and find a place to pull over. And, uh, and then get cracking. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you incredibly soon for the next video. Yes. Goodbye. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, you got that in, <laughs> got that in right again. <laughs>